10 minutes until the match begins. Again, that's 10 minutes until the match begins. Please finish your warm up. Check your props. Use the washroom if you need to and grab some food. The house is open.
5 minutes until the match begins. For photosensitive viewers, please note that this performance includes bright and flashing effects. Depending on who is playing and how they play the game, there may be swearing and topics that are not family friendly. The match will begin shortly. This is Places.
we are about to begin. For photo sensitive viewers, please note that this performance includes bright and flashing effects. Depending on who is playing and how they play the game, there may be swearing and topics that are not family friendly. The stage is set. Starting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Hi everyone, my name is Milton. And my name is Patrick, and welcome to the third and final Culture Capital online match happening this fall. So what is Culture Capital? Culture Capital is a trading card game and performance project about the Canadian performing arts economy, including dance, theater, live art, and sometimes opera. We go to specific regions of Canada and create region-specific versions of the game. And for each regional version, we combine public data about which companies and artists are receiving money from the government to make their art with perspectives from artists in that region about how art is being, the value of art is being produced and determined within their regional context. Tonight's game pits two versions of the game against each other, the Vancouver version and the Toronto version. So this particular project was started when the arts economy wasn't working particularly well for some of its members. And since we are also wondering what a return to normal might look like, we're here to remind you. If you want to learn more about the game and the Culture Capital project, go to culturecapital.cards. There you can also request a deck of your own. We are still building versions of the game across Canada, so keep in contact. Reach out if you want to be interviewed for your regional version and look out for tournaments in your area post-vaccine. But that's not why you're here. You want to know who we're going to e-transfer $500 Canadian of sweet art money to. So let's begin. Welcome to Culture Capital, the trading card game. A game where the line between culture and capital has disappeared. Today's match is presented in partnership with HowlRound Theatre Commons. Funding for the cash prize has been generously provided by Canada Council for the Arts and BC Arts Council. Tonight's match. Danny Fecco vs Luke Reese. British Columbia vs Ontario. Players, please contribute grant funding to the government pool and shuffle your decks in preparation for the match. Danny and Luke. Do you have any words you'd like to exchange before the match? I mean, West Coast, best coast. Great game. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's too. Okay. Good game. <laughs> cool. as I, no, no, it's gonna be fun. Each player begins with 20 communities. This will be a match to zero and the winner will receive $500 of sweet art money. To our spectators. Place your bet now and feel free to cheer and heckle on your platform of choice. The match is about to begin. Break a leg. Have a good show. Match start. Okay, so, uh, everybody ready? We are going to begin by deciding who is going to begin. So as is tradition for Culture Capital, the person who goes first is the person who pays the most taxes in real life. Uh, I've been made aware that neither of you have collected CERB from the Canadian government. Uh, lucky you all. And, uh, or I don't know actually if that's luck. Yeah, but, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you had employment. Um, yeah. So can both of you tell me which of you uh, paid the most taxes this past this year? Uh, <laughs> did you look it Go up, ahead, Danny? Luke. Sorry? Uh, did you look it up? <laughs> I did look it up. Yeah, I got my number. Uh, I paid uh, three thousand three hundred dollars in taxes. Oh, you paid more taxes than I did. Yeah, I paid a lot. I know. Yeah, well, well done, sir. Which means that Luke Reese will be beginning tonight's game. So, 
At this point, both of you are to draw seven cards from your deck into your hand, and please do so now. In this very first hand, if you do not have a company, you may use the mulligan rule, whereby you will put your entire deck back into your or entire hand back into your deck, shuffle and draw seven more cards. If you do have a company, you cannot use this rule and you must play with what you have. Luke, would you like to use the mulligan roll? No, I'm good. Cool, then it is your concept phase and you can play companies uh, and only companies at this stage. <laughs> okay, so uh, concept phase here. I've got uh, company near and dear to my heart, Factory Theater. Uh, right off the bat, what's up, Factory? Um, they are, they specialize in Canadian political and their grant potential of five. So there we go. And they have a show on right now uh, with Natasha Mumba called Acts of Faith. I believe it's a David Yee show. Um, they opened, oh, they opened what, a week and a bit ago? I think they opened on the 19th. Um, I haven't checked it out yet. And this is actually a reminder for me to, to do that. Yeah. Uh, is that the only company that you have? That is the only company coming out right now, yeah. Cool, so which means that you're now into your very first application phase. Time to roll for a grant. So what does Factory need to get in order to get a grant? Uh, at least a five, from one to five. One, Great. two, three, four, five. Come on, Factory, give me that sweet, sweet grant money. Three, okay, sweet. And I get a grant. Factory gets a grant. Well and done over there. Money. You need to play a project. Do you have a project that you can play on the table? I do. Um, what project we're gonna is Factory get going started. to produce? Factory is going to produce War, Conflict, and Family, a new show by Hannah Moskovich. Uh, it's dramatic <laughs> and diaspora. Have a look there. It's uh, worth four when it's up and running, two in development, uh, three when it's closed. So it needs two grants, which means uh, right now it's in development. So uh, war, conflict, and family right now, getting some work done at Factory. Matt McGeechee is probably going to town on it. Um, yeah, lots of love for Matt McGeechee, who just welcomed in a second child, I feel like, this year as well. So congrats to them and good health to the family. <laughs> All right, so what that means right now is that you've got your project in development, you cannot play anything more, and you're gonna move into your first strategic planning phase where you can play your gray cards and you also always have available to you your instant orange cards. Right. Um, Luke, what I... are you doing now? I'm just gonna... I'm losing you a bit there, Milton. So I... Uh, I had accidentally mixed up the... Uh... Weird. Oh. Okay. Oh, there Milton is. Back. Milton, Wait, he, caught I didn't, he caught up. I was we just good? saying, I'm owning up to the fact that I had mixed up your arms, so I switched that around. We're all good to go. Oh, you mixed our <laughs> arms up. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. So exactly what we were talking about before, which was funny. Yeah. Um, oh, hey, they're like one of those like, flip books when you're little. I'm watching it yeah. here, and it's like as it's dragging across. <laughs> Anyways, we're in strategic planning right okay, off. Okay. Um, and I'm, out here. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything uh, just yet. I feel like Factory just wants to get this show up right now. We're not going to do a lot of strategic planning. We want to really see how this how this fares with the audience first. No traps, no nothing. Which means that, Danny, it is your turn for your first concept phase. And because it's your first turn, you can discard cards that are in your hand first uh -huh. and then pick up from the deck. Um, you might also want to, I don't know how good uh, Luke's eyesight is, but sometimes your cards are tilting a little bit towards. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, My okay. Is, it's good, but not that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even, I can't even see them when they're in front of me. Okay, well, I'm gonna discard a card up until my, uh, my graveyard up there. I'm gonna pick one more up. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so that's seven. So I do have a company, I've got Theater Replacement. Hey. Good old theater company. They're multicultural and experimental. They need four. That's the only company I have. 
So I'm gonna roll to see if they get any grants. Uh, they also just opened a show. They did a show last week. They did uh, Beta Hilly's Little Volcano. Right, that's true. Team, roll to four. NBD hey. gets a grant. So, you know what? And I'm gonna I do have a show to play that only needs one grant. So oh, I'm gonna play that immediately. This is Project Muhammad. A futuristic passion play about the hidden spaceship under Jerusalem meant to bring us to the promised land somewhere else in the universe. Can I, <laughs> I can has? I want it right now. <laughs> um, uh, how much is it worth when it's open? It's worth a hefty two points and none of the keywords line up. Hmm. But you know what? Here we are. We're gonna go for it. So we are now going to be in our first uh, production phase competition. Here we go. Between uh, Project Muhammad and War Conflict. Was it War Family and Conflict? War Conflict war, and Family. War Conflict and Family. It's always some mixture of those three themes. <laughs> yeah, uh, of For course. that particular artist. So what means is gonna happen right now is Danny, you get to lead this competition. Uh, by playing any yellow strategy cards that raise the value of your show or subtract the value of uh, Luke's. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead do? and play this instant strategy card, which Ooh. is nice privates, which takes my points up by one to a three. I'm starting off slow here. So I'm just gonna, my three is gonna go against your two. What does it do, sorry? It's a It target nice project privates? increases in GP by one level. No, target wrong. You probably don't want to play that right now because I can't ignore yeah. wrong card. So my two, I like I don't have anything else to up this with. So which means that you have a two and Luke, you have a what? I have he a, has two. a two. Which means that it's two versus two, which means we're going to defer over to Luke and Luke gets to respond. Uh, do you have any strategies that you want to play? Because it looks like Danny has possibly made a blunder. If um, if she's that is the, not if that is the case. Uh, then yeah, I'm definitely gonna play something. <laughs> she could have been uh, bluffing though. She could have been bluffing, which would be, be hella tactics. <laughs> um, I I'm gonna say that maybe she's not bluffing, but hopefully I don't eat those words. And uh, I'm I mean, play... she's had a bit of this already. <laughs> I'm gonna play convenient. Um, turns out the CBC goes to live performance. They're gonna pick up our show and put it on TV. Uh. We invited Amanda Paris out to the workshop since we're in development, and it's uh, it's a plus ten. Uh, oh man! Oh jeez. Uh, this is this is this is intense. Okay, so this is, this that, is we're you've got a strong. twelve, you've got a twelve, and Danny, you've got a two. That's a ten point difference right out the beginning here. Uh, do you have anything, Danny, that yeah, you can use I to do. respond? Yeah. The thing is with the CBC, they don't love an all white cast. So that's gonna be minus six for you. So our current score is two for Danny and six for Luke. Yeah. Um, yeah. Luke, you get a chance to respond. How, uh, even though you've got an all white cast in your war family and conflict. CB still, uh, so, CBC conflict still wants to produce us, but people won't watch it. <laughs> that's, not people won't watch it. that's not a surprise. That's not a surprise. people won't CBC. watch it. <laughs> I won't watch it, but they'll still produce it. Um, Wait, does the CBC survive on white people? Is that what you're saying? I, see. I mean, <laughs> when I, yeah, yeah. I was gonna go somewhere, <laughs> but I'm not gonna go there just yet. We just no, started. too early, too soon. Okay, I know. So coming out hot. We'll, get, we'll, we'll start talking more about who tokenizes who. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got plenty of time. Okay, so it's back to me, um, and <clears throat> you know what? I'm uh, I'm I'm cool with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there. So this is six a six point difference, and I'm happy with that. Uh, that is Great. a four point difference. Oh, sorry, four four uh, point difference. That's mad. And 2020, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20
Luke. Uh, you can discard anything that's in your hand and then pick up back to seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna go, I'm not gonna discard anything, but I'm gonna pick up three cards to get me back to seven in my hand. Okay, okay. This is... <clears throat> All right. Let's, um... No, no more companies to come out here, but we're gonna uh, roll for Grant and see oh. if I can... I don't think we are though. What's happening? Because we've got this instant strategy card <laughs> that your target company factory cannot receive grants for a round. Why is that? Um, you paid someone else to write your job, your grant, and they did a terrible job. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, sorry about it. I shouldn't have cheaped out. I should have spent the real money, get Aaron Jan to write it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> These no, are the hard lesson. lessons we learn. Danny, that card lasts for one round. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. One so round. I can hold okay. that out. Uh, well, just keep we'll, it. Rem we'll remember. It. So, we'll uh, so factory away. factory can't roll this turn. Uh, surprise, surprise. And uh, Luke, how are you going to proceed? Great. Thanks. That's awesome. So now <laughs> I'm going to move You're into my into my strategic planning phase. Where <laughs> we're just going to I'm just going to call up Hannah and say, hey, we're going to have to wait another season to actually put up this show. We're just going to continue to be in development. Probably um, right <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what's happening right now. Hey, you know that show is going to happen? Uh, we're gonna, just going to be in development. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to lay a trap right here. Should I put it here? Or should I that's put where it you should like... put it. Okay, no, there cool. it goes. There's, there it is. Um, Anything else you want to do? I, first, I want to remember what I just put down. I, I <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's that's it. Wicked. Great. Uh, back to Vancouver. Over here. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of one card. I've got two in my hand, so I'm picking up another five. Two, three, four, five. All right. So. Um, I... No. Oh, sorry. I was looking at my own hand, and I thought it was yours. <laughs> <laughs> It's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> Milton did that. I picked up this other sweet company called Battery Opera. Ooh, hey, oh, cool. Disciplinary. Uh, their keywords are experimental and political. And I need to roll a three to get them any sweet, sweet money. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll for Battery Opera. I'll need a three. Oh, you get, you get it. MVP. Um, do you have a replacement? Need a four. I'm gonna go for them. Nice. I got a two. Okay. So the roll game is strong. Um, so I only have one project. Battery Opera is like writing grants, but they're kind of, you know, they're thinking about things. Um, right. but the other replacement knows for sure that they wanna somehow do this maybe Toronto show, Haircuts by Octogenarians. <laughs> I don't really know how I got into this deck. Um, that show has been everywhere. It's traveled and it's, it's around yeah, a, it goes, set of, it's a new set of Octogenarians, I think, every time like, it's done. Every the time. CBC's they can't travel, probably, especially not now. The CBC is probably supporting this one. Uh, they've been cutting hair for longer than you've been alive. A performance, a dance, they'll talk your ear off. It's It needs three grants, so it's going to be in development for a little while. And in development, it's at a four. Once okay. it opens, it'll be at an eight. Oh, uh, wow. It's experimental and immersive. So there is a keyword match. Just what? What is that? What's the boost? There's it like a plus one, plus two. What's it's a the plus keyword? two? It's a plus, plus two, two boost. Okay, so it'll be ten yeah. when it's open. Is that right? And it's and it's six yeah. right now. Then yeah, it's six. Yeah, right now. everything you're saying is correct, friends. Okay. So. There's uh, nothing else I can do. You gotta I'm give that move. money back for uh battery if you're oh, not. I do. Yeah. I don't mind. like it. <laughs> it's not nice it's saying okay. goodbye to money. No, I don't but like it's it. It's the right thing to do. It is the right thing I to don't, do. It is. I don't I mean, care you, for any of What you could have done is made up a whole bunch of other expenses for a show. And uh I should have spent it anyway. <laughs> gotta learn how to pad that budget. Um, yeah. I'm going to move into strategic planning, shall I? Yes, you may. Okay, I'm just going to lay this trap over here. Okay. It's ready. Right. It's ready for you, Luke. 
Okay. Yeah, I see it. Okay. okay. And it's right there. Just for you. That's all I got. Uh, which means we're back to Toronto. Okay, so I have discard and then pick up. Uh, I'm gonna pick up uh, one one card because <laughs> I'm at six, so I need to need to yeah. get to seven here. Seems to have cards um, he wants to hold on to. Yeah, mm. Interesting, interesting. I mean, yeah, I'm all right. I don't want to give. I I thought about wearing a mask. During this, so that I could like We're hide like my a... poker face, <laughs> I give like a poker face kind of thing. Like you know, people like the also... sunglasses and like yeah, the caps. Yeah. Can we just take a real quick moment to appreciate that the back of the cards match your sweet tracksuit? You know what? I was thinking about that like ten even... seconds earlier, but I didn't. I didn't want to be the one to say it. I didn't want to be the one to bring it up. No, I got you. I see you. Like literally, <laughs> you're all I'm looking at. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> no, I see um, you. It's good. Good. Also, Christopher Ross on Facebook says that if you don't win tomorrow, he's going to make fun of you, Luke. Yeah, yeah. Chris Chris is there um, as a part of the workshop. And I told him about this. I told him about the game. And he's going to order a deck, too. You might have already placed the order. Oh, he did. Uh, it's super oh, fun. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching, you fun. can, too. <laughs> you can play, too. Um, everybody. Right, okay, so. so I now have seven cards in my hand. It is my turn. Um, there are no companies that I can put down. Uh, wow. But I am going to, I know, but I'm going to roll for uh, for grants here. For okay. back, I can now, right? You can, you can indeed. You've got it. You, you fired the previous grant writer intern. <laughs> yeah, uh, and this I, time I got Aaron Jan. It's a crazy thing how so many young people are put into those positions because yeah. you know, they're not necessarily as good I've been, I've like started new jobs and been asked to write their final reports for shows that I wasn't around for. It's very confusing. I got a four. You got a four. What's this worth? Yeah, I was like, I yeah, can it just does. bring it up. Oh, nice. Cool. So, uh, got my grant here for war, conflict, and family. That means Moscow we open. Open. We open. We open. So, <clears throat> we're a four right now. Uh, none of the keywords match. And uh, and Danny haircuts right now is at a is at a six, right? It's at a four that's, in development plus two boost. That's right. <clears throat> okay, so Luke, hmm? you can lead this competition, or you can defer to Danny. Uh, I am going to lead the competition because right now I'm down two. Um, Classic Toronto, always got to get in there first. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, Throwing shade. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing but love for the West Coast. I was just there at a great time. <laughs> I know. A ball of eagle flew Toronto. over my head. I miss it was it magical. So much. This is how the West Coast operates. All smiles and shade. <laughs> I was buying books. I was like buying books from Type online yesterday. I miss Toronto so much. Um. Okay. So, I am gonna. I'm just gonna I'm gonna even it out right now, uh, with a plus two here. A random blogger uh, saw my show and they said it was memorable, and that that my friends is a quote I can go to social media with, and I did. And uh, target project is plus two, so now we're uh, we're six apiece here. We're six apiece. Tweeted. Okay. A random person thinks your show's memorable. Yeah, uh, random blogger, not just a random person, Patrick. They have an online blog. I feel like everyone <laughs> is a blogger. Recognition for it. <laughs> they share their feelings with other people. Um, Danny, you are tied now. If you do not play anything, both of these projects will uh, collapse into oblivion. But you have a trap. Uh, you've got other options available to you. What do you want to do? You know what? The thing with with being an experimental company is that you use projectors and that makes the show innovative. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> so that's a plus two. So I'm now- On your haircuts by Octogenarian's show, by the way. It's like, it's, yeah. it's old people getting It's not getting an actual hair. haircut. You just get a haircut projected onto you. It's safer. <laughs> it's safer. It's a COVID. No, COVID it's a COVID haircut. There's no it's a COVID contact. haircut. Exactly. Exactly. Your green screened a uh, haircut. There's uh, a digital strategy grant. We've adapted it. We've digitally adapted it. So, so now. Uh, so now you're up two. Now I'm up two. That's right. Yeah. So I'm at eight. 
you're at eight, Luke's at six. Luke, how do you want to respond? Uh, I'm going to respond with a plug for Video Can. <gasps> What's Video Can? What? Oh, weird. Uh, What's that you, cool sounding thing? You watch thing? archival video documentation of works by other artists in Canada to refine your understanding of your art's aesthetic context. Your newfound understanding has an impact. Video Can. Okay. Target project. Uh, target project gets plus two. Um, nice. So then we're tied again. Yeah. So video can. I mean, do you want to talk about video can, Milton, and what's going on, or anybody? I don't know, Patrick. How about you? Uh, well, I mean, I guess we should just say that videocan.ca is something that anyone who's watching should check out, where you can see works by other artists in Canada, and learn and uh, sort of gather a a broader understanding of what's going on in the Canadian performing arts landscape. Uh, it is run by uh, myself and Milton, as well as a wonderful team of researchers right now, where we are studying what can and can't be done with video documentation uh, in Canada. There are a lot of regulations and rules that we are uh, studying in order to kind of make these materials mm -hmm. more available to people as an artistic and scientific resource. Uh, we just actually had a wonderful conversation with the New York Public Library's Theater on Film and Tape Archive, mm, nice. uh, where they taught us a whole bunch of stuff about how they began and what their sort of struggles and achievements have been. Uh, so, yeah, check it out. Wait, and, have uh, you? This is a conversation for later. The what Paley Center. Do you know about the Paley Center? No, what's the Paley Center? Oh my gosh, it's this incredible place in New York, very like unassuming, and it's yeah. five floors, and they have. It's a TV archive, but you can go in and watch anything. Starting back, like every Olympics from night. So I went in and I watched the very first Sesame Street. I watched oh. Super Bowl commercials from 2000, um, like some Olympic opening. And then I think like the last episode of Friends because Whoops. I was spending my time wisely. Uh, and and something from the Dean Martin the show. Way. It was, It was so cool. Check it out. Well, the theater on film and tape in New York operates the same way. And so they collect, or they actually produce documentation for all the theaters on Broadway. Um, right. they, they have huge, a huge budget to be able to do this and they record 50 to they, 60. They produce the documentations themselves. They produce the documentations themselves because they have a special agreement with right. the unions. That's in what the, we need. We need that. What we need, Sounds like a sector innovation grant to me, friends. It is possibly the next phase we'll get of- that. Video can okay. right now. Video can is collecting documentation that is already being shot by artists, and to create a depository because we do not have that in Canada, and we think that uh, yeah. the artistic conversation that even the project that we are currently participating in right now, uh, in its own way, is trying to sort of build upon that, uh, build that discourse between artists in different areas. And video can is very much a sister project, actually, too. Uh, culture capital. And if you're an artist working in the performing arts, do you? Well, Milton disappeared, oh. which we should say if is if you're an artist, artist performing can. in the performing arts, you can submit your own video documentation to Video Can. Oh. Oh. Uh, you just need permission from everyone your involved. Work to Video Can. Uh, you can find it all. <laughs> <laughs> You're struggling with your internet there, bud. Well, it's, uh, I have two computers running. One of them is doing great. The other one... <laughs> the other one's not. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, all that's to say is check it out in the chat. There's a whole bunch of really great stuff on Video Can, including some really awesome commentaries that we're going to be hosting. It's, uh, uh, where... it's oh, live, baby. <laughs> it's just really cutting through here. Um, so I'm All right, pretty we sure are, we are I can still defend against Luke's eight. Yeah, yes. yeah. So we're, eight. We're, we're tied now. Eight, eight. We're tied. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead to my trap. There it is. So slick. It It's minus six. It turns out one, that one of your board members works for Big Oil. It's minus six. Oh. So you're down to a two now. He's down to a I two. Believe. And Danny, and you're I'm at, at a six. I'm at an eight. You're at an eight. I'm sorry. at an eight. So there's a six point difference. Luke, how do you want to respond? We're going to go, uh, we're not done yet. Oh, uh, no! So many ends. Now Magazine's reviewer <laughs> loved your show and gave it all the ends they could. You're selling out houses every <laughs> na 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 night. <laughs> I, I said that like I was going to say another N, and then I didn't. Um, <laughs> target project plus six 
We're tied oh, man. again. We're back to eight to eight. Danny, how are you going to respond? Luke's show is open and being loved apparently by in Toronto. So many ends. <laughs> We used the, the video archival to, to like refine ourselves. What was the first one? A random blogger likes it. Which uh, I believe someone was asking if it was from Mooney on theater, which uh, let's presume it was. Um, though that's actually not random enough. They're not random <laughs> enough. They're not random. I can't, right. I'm, I'm out. That's it, You're that's out, all I got. Which means we're at a tie, which means unfortunately the people, uh, the people have not chosen, the people have been unable to make an informed decision uh, and both of these shows are going to close now because people <clears throat> are fickle like this. So and is this... which means that your strategies are going to go to the graveyard. Your project is going to go to the graveyard. If your company has exceeded its project limit, it is also going to go to the graveyard. Deep cut. And no communities will be exchanged between either player. See you later, theater replacement. It's been a good run. Okay, Two so rounds. Factory Theater oh, has right? exhausted one of its three projects, and I've put it the, <clears throat> underneath here. Yes, so and it's the end of your turn, Luke, uh, into strategic planning for you. Sweet. I'm not going to do anything. Okay, which means, cool. Danny, back to you. Oh, All right, I thought so that was I'm the right move. I'm going <laughs> to discard a card, and I'm going to pick up, oh, yeah, I'm going to pick up another five, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. 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 I got a new company. I don't know if you guys okay. have heard of them. It's a company called Hong Kong Exile. Oh. I have heard. They're pretty cool. Uh, they're interdisciplinary. Diaspora and tech are their keywords. I got to roll a two for them. So let's see how I go. Uh, battery. I'm going to roll for Battery Opera first, which is a three. Roll the six. No monies. No monies. They probably hired your old grant writer. They probably did. They're trying to get work <laughs> um, elsewhere now. Yeah, they're trying they to get work elsewhere. They just left Toronto. <laughs> yeah, like, they left Toronto. They heard they heard best coast west coast and they got yeah. out of there. <laughs> or rather, whoever their employer was was like, "Don't ever hire this person." <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Out of town. <laughs> that's why our city needs to be That's anymore. the bleak version. <laughs> I'm yeah. rolling it, trying to get a two for Hong Kong X. I got a three, which is kind of like a two, but it's know. not. That's, I just got like a highly recommended, basically. Yeah. Um, so I'm not gonna play any shows because I can't. Um, and I'm not gonna play any, I'm not gonna do any strategic planning. It's the end of my turn. Uh, which means that we're going back to you, Luke, for your concept phase. Cool. Here we go. I gotta pick up <laughs> three cards. Deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> Count to three. <laughs> You should have seen in the dentist chair earlier. So for those who didn't come on, I was I had to go to the dentist. I have wisdom teeth coming on. I'm not gonna go into it, but I had to sit in the chair, and they had to like do work on my on my gums and stuff because they're swelling, and I like was breathing so heavily. And they had two people that are holding it open and like trying to move my tongue out of the way. This is a great visual. I'm, I'm hope people are eating. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, it's uh, it's been a minute since I've been to the dentist. Clearly. And uh, anyways, I had to pick up three cards. Uh, one, two, three. All right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Man, what, what was I shuffling? Okay, here we go. <laughs> we are going to uh, roll for a grant for Factory uh, and no other no other companies are gonna come hang out with me, <laughs> apparently. They're all at the bottom of my deck. Um, <clears throat> so Factory, I'm relying on you right now. One to a five, what are you gonna get? One to a five. I'm feeling alive. Oh, barely gets a five. Oh yeah, he does. Take your money. So <clears throat> on this, uh, with this grant, what are you going to make, Luke? With this grant, okay. I'm going to play uh, a show I mean, it, it doesn't. It doesn't really. It doesn't sound like a factory show, 
but they but they are located uh, near King West, and this is based on the bro culture of King West. This okay. is Human Jenga, inspired by the bro culture of King West. This performance is a dance piece with verbatim text about incredible pullout game. Um, again, I know Nina won't program this, but maybe maybe like a board member's like son wrote it and and the board was like you have to produce my son's show it's in king west you're near king west so do it um so they've got a uh, human jenga is athletic it's athletic which is not a keyword for a factory at all uh <laughs> it's worth the six when it's open three in development so right now. athletic shows most of the people are just sitting on stage not moving <laughs> i i mean what i, I <laughs> They have, I mean, that they have some pretty, a lot of theater that I've seen. <laughs> they have some pretty nice sets, though, that I feel like <laughs> are hard for actors to navigate sometimes. And I feel like the actors have to be athletic, although the focus of the piece isn't athletic. And that is the end of that thought. Great. So you've got King, uh, Human Jenga on the table. It is in development. It, in development. it needs a couple more grants. Uh, you know, they're clearly diversifying their portfolio. Yeah. You're into your strategic planning because you can't actually do anything in a production phase. What do you no, want to do? No, I can't do that. Um, but in strategic planning, I can. Here's a question, though. I can only play one one trap at a time, eh? You can only play one trap at a time. If you want to get rid of that trap, you can, but you have to burn it uh, to replace it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, yeah. Well, I won't do that, but I will. Uh, I mean, don't if Luke has a trap in his hand. I know. Listen, listen. Sometimes I give things away. <laughs> no, it's good. I don't know what it is. I, I've never played the Ontario. I don't know. Um, so and okay. So I'm gonna. I am gonna go to communities directly with a gray strategy card. Okay. What are you gonna um, do? It's lack of accessibility. Even though you don't have uh, a show going on right now, just I guess your general the, the which theater company do you have at Hong Kong Exile? Hong Kong Exile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they forgot to do outreach to the deaf and hard of hearing community. Um, target communities minus two. Oh. Minus two, which this would be a moment where we could ask a particular individual from Hong Kong Excel whether they had forgotten to do that. But um, he's busy but fixing he's, the he's layout busy of, the of the stream. He's, he's, he's doing some stuff. He's doing some stuff. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make sure that Milton brings a score down by two for Danny. And we will go over to Danny, though and uh, play your concept phase, Danny. 14. Thank you, Great. Milton. It's so great. Um, wait, does Milton, do you have any response? Are you back yet? No, he's not back yet. He was and I was gone. I'm gonna burn two cards. I've got four in my hand. So I'm gonna okay. pick up another three. <clears throat> three, there's three. I did get another company and I got Teatro La Sesième. Oh, oh wow! No way. Is that a six probability right there? Is that it's what a I'm five. Oh, five. Five. Okay, five. Um, it's Jeu Public and Poetique. So you know, thirteen years of French. Can you hear it? I nope. can. I, <laughs> I mean, it's better than me. <laughs> so I can hear um, that. So I'll roll for Teatro Le Sixième first. So I need a five for them. I roll a one. I feel like I wasted that one. But, you know, there it is. <laughs> You're going to need that one later, maybe. I'm going to need that one later. Um, so, Hong Kong Exile. I need a two. <gasps> What'd you get? You got a two. Oh, you got a two. You're getting grants. I'm getting <laughs> you, com you have companies. You're... More more importantly, you have theater companies. <laughs> <laughs> Battery Opera. I need a three. <gasps> no way. They got Wait. a three. I got a three. Okay, right. so here we go. Let's assign <laughs> some shows. Um. Oh, goodness gracious. I guess this makes sense. So <laughs> the other TSM is going to take this show. I am becoming, I am become Big Daddy. <laughs> A one on one performance on the internet that assembles your data live as you watch the show and uses machine learning until it can perform your digital self. 
<laughs> it's like weirdly apropos right now. Yeah. So we're all watching that show right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's called like either Facebook, Google, or Instagram. Yeah. It's called whatever you guys are using to stream. Uh, that's worth a five in development. There's no keyword love there. Um, Hong Kong Exile is going to. Hopefully it's a show that outre- does outreach to the deaf community. Yeah. It's called- No, it's Borscht VR. Borscht <laughs> VR. So it would, but it's definitely not um, for the visually impaired. Uh, a virtual reality experience where you eat borscht with a stranger, but someone is watching. There's ah. a lot going on there. It. So there it. is a keyword alignment of tech in okay. development. This is worth two plus three for the tech alignment Dang. and then sort of confusingly um you know battery opera saw hall tiny excel do a show like this one time and was like we're gonna make our own version they're doing eight the game, <laughs> eight the game. Uh, which is um, which actually has been performed in factory theater i was i know i was oh, there you want to just send that over here then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a motivational keynote speech about a failed business person, the housing market, and creative potential. Oh, that's so awesome. that's going into development. I want to see that for real. Uh, that's worth three in development. Plus, we've got a keyword alignment of experimental, which is a plus two. So that's a five right now. Okay. Okay. So just uh-huh. to recap, you've got three shows. You've got Ate the Game. You've got uh, Borscht VR. And the first that's one right. you've got is... I am become Big Daddy. I am become Big Daddy. Thank you. Yeah. So Great. they all need more grants. So <laughs> I can't do anything else. I don't have any strategy to play. So that's my turn. Great. Uh, which means that we're back over to you, Luke, where you are staring down a fairly, uh, you know, well stacked uh, opposition. Yeah. But you um, look confident. Um, so what are you going to do? You know, he's still got. <laughs> do I look confident? <laughs> But look at look. This is look at the communities you have. You've got ten more communities than I do. Yeah, things yeah, can change. You though. you have a you have an in development wall. <laughs> <laughs> and I it's have the Rockies. Okay, so I get there. That's the Rockies right there. Yeah, it's hopefully, the Rockies. hopefully the workshops aren't rocky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so Not glad I got that Not if you do one the bam. Sorry. <laughs> I just keep wanted going. to no, don't let it die. <laughs> just wanted to keep the Rockies. You you just couldn't elk yourself. <laughs> I got that's it. No one I gets extra else. community points for puns. You might get extra community points. This entire yeah. game is built upon Milton and my puns. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so I have five cards in my hand. I'm not discarding any of them. I am gonna pick up two and pray to God that one of them is a company. <laughs> Maybe Can even both cross? of them. Maybe even both of them are companies. Yeah. Dream big, mm-hmm. Luke, dream big. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, one company <laughs> is joining the party. Ooh. Dance makers um, making some dance. Uh, they, they do experimental and abstract works. I've rented out that space, uh, so many times coming up as an indie producer. Um, you know, it was a nice, a nice size studio space for, for what the price was and, um, did many a workshops <laughs> there and seen many a workshops there. Yeah. This is, is this the one that has the brick wall? Yes. Yes. This is the one with the brick wall at the yeah. back. So there's also a particular aesthetic you can get. Um, at Dance great. Makers, if you want to have that exposed brick feel, which like I know just like some theater artists in Toronto just love that old like distillery exposed brick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and no blacks. Like they get, you know, they take all of the curtains take out. Them, just just take them down. Take the blacks down. All I want to see I know. Are, oh, I that said sounds it. I re- terrible. I regretted it immediately. <laughs> get rid of all the blacks. It came out of my all mouth I and I was see. like, nope. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Can't even tell. No, no, I, I, I couldn't I still elk have it, to, okay? You couldn't elk it. I still have to train my, my have to retrain my I know, I know. Out and I'm black. Yeah. Like, it's, this is what you learn. I remember, like, literally in theater school, like, learning films are the blacks and they're hung. And I was like, Ooh. okay, this is what I'm learning. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay, so, Real. anyways, Dance Makers Dark it would be great. It would be great to have, um, 
a project, but you need some money. So let's see yeah. where you can get some money. All right. Just stretch it out. Get ready. Stretch it out here for the roll. Um, this, okay. Okay. All right. We're going to roll for grants for uh, factory first. Uh, need uh, need one to five, anything one through five here. There we go. And I roll a six. Fuck. Great. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to roll for dance makers <laughs> and dance makers needs one to four. So I'm probably going to roll do a it. five. I believe in you. It's going to be uh, great. A two. I got a two. Yeah, you did. Yes. Wow. Rolled the shit out of that die. I rolled the shit out of that die. <laughs> um, cool. One grant with dance makers. Um, <clears throat> And okay, here yeah. we're gonna decisions. play the decisions for real. We're gonna play uh, Iphigenia and the Furries. Tell me more. Uh, what it's happens gone. when a fetish for Greek tragedy gets <laughs> mounted by a fetish for mascots? Iphigenia and the Furries. There it is. It's uh, it's queer and traditional. <laughs> um, I love it. And uh, it's so none of the none of the keywords um, match up. That's with, surprising uh, to me. It's makers. Um, there are so many keywords. <laughs> it's really hard to match them. Uh, so they are worth three in development. They're actually they're the same as uh, as human Jenga. So three in development, six went open. No We're boosts good. on that, um, but they go. They gonna hang out there. They're gonna hang out there in development. Which means that you are now in strategic planning phase. What do you have that you would like to do? Do you want to play anything gray, anything orange? Switch a trap. Um, I'm gonna play nothing at all during this strategic planning phase, okay. and uh, that will be the end of my end of my turn. I feel a little bit better now that I have a couple shows. In development yes. here to at least give me a, give me something give you a sense of purpose it. you could say in a your, sense of purpose uh, in your artistic practice yeah just <laughs> factory and dance makers hanging out doing work with exposed brick uh all right danny <laughs> okay so i've got three You've cards got... in my hand and what are you what are you gonna do i'm gonna hold on to them. i'm gonna pick up another four cards so there's okay. one oh ha two three four okay uh, interesting. Okay, interesting, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna roll for some grants here. Okay, who are you rolling for? So I'm gonna go. Uh, Tetra says the M first. I'm gonna need a five. Okay. Uh, I got a six, six. So that's annoying. I'm gonna go Hong Kong Exile, for which I need a two. One or two. two. One or two. Got a four. four. I feel good no. about any of this. Uh, I'm gonna go for Battery Opera, for which I need a three. Nailed it. Oh, you get it. There you go. Got a three. So that means that eight the game is now open. And it okay. must compete. And what is it? What is it? Compete. What's so it it's at? worth it's worth a six plus a boost of two. Oh. Okay. So yeah, it's an so eight. If I'm not mistaken, you on your board have a two, a three, and a three in development. Is that right? No. I I just have a three and a three. You a three and a three because war, They're... conflict, and family, it's they gone. fought too much. That's gone. Um, Okay, okay, so I've, I'm going eight against three. You're either against human Jenga or Iphigenia and the furries. And the furries. I would love come to at see my furries? that Iphigenia show. I think that would be a real record. I, mean, I have a lot of questions about it, but yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I'm at an eight. I'm up against a three. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna see what Luke does. Okay, eight, but wait, who are you, are you Iphigenia or? Which one, Ninja? which one? Who are you coming the at? The bros or the furries? That's... <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know, like, the pullout or the fetish? I don't know what to go against. Uh, <laughs> let's go against, let's go against the furries. The furries, okay, dance makers and the furries. Um, that is an eight to a three. Luke, how are you going to respond? I am gonna respond, oh my, these cards are upside down. I'm gonna respond <clears throat> uh, with uh, <clears throat> So you're, at, you're an eight. That's right. That's a 
five point difference. It is. It is a five point difference, which would uh, which would bring us even if my math is correct. Yeah, we, I don't know. We tie that, up here. If that's where I want to be right now. So uh, I am going to just go go crazy right now. Okay. 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 So crazy right now. Um, because this also feels like it matches. So I also want to be true to this. Okay. Uh, an all queer cast yeah. uh, for, for Iphigenia and the furries. Makes sense. Uh, plus eight. So I'm at an 11 now. And I'm Ooh. also going to play my trap with that. You can. Um, which is we're not talking. An important artistic director has cut your company out of their inner circle being ostracized prevents you from focusing on your work and it shows um <clears throat> target Just project that's sad. <laughs> it's very sad we're not talking you're, you're too caught up in it danny uh, which means that that's a minus six is that it's right it's a minus six yeah it's a minus so six danny's down to two luke is up to eight we've got a nine point difference he's danny. up to 11. i'm at i'm at 11. Oh, I'm sorry, at 11. you're yeah, at 11. Yeah. yes so there's a there's a <laughs> nine point difference right yeah. Okay. 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 I see you. Uh, so I'm going to add some inspiration here. Very good. Which That's is my six. show is inspired by a performance you saw in Berlin. Oh, no way. Yeah, cool. So that's going to go up plus four. So now I'm at six, six to 11. Um, yeah. And the thing is, not in our space, Luke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, slow down, slow down here, because Danny, you are on the offense. You can only play one strategy in response. Out of time. <gasps> I've revealed my cards. Okay, you I can did. only play one strategy. And you have played a card, so you cannot reta retake that card that you've played back. Okay, 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 okay. Which I, means I that you it. currently have added six, so you're at an eight, and Luke is at an eleven. Yeah, I see where this is going. Okay. I don't like it. But I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, there might have been another order that you wanted to play those cards in. Uh, mm -hmm. Luke, unfortunately. Everything's well, fine. Unfortunately for Danny, it's your turn, Luke. How do you want to respond to the difference of three points? We're going to leave this difference just the way it is. Yeah, that's a smart call, Luke. <laughs> which is a three point exchange from Vancouver Jeez. to Toronto, which means 20, 20, 20, 27. Oh man, okay. 27 to 11. Battery Opera has a two project limit. So I'm just gonna tuck that. Inspiration's going away. Grants are going away. Uh, I was nervous. Trap. I um, am sad. <laughs> yes, that's unfortunate, Danny. That's okay. Um, it's, you know, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. So you, you, play, you played a trap now? You played your I trap? I played a trap. My strategic okay. planning is done. Okay, which means that Luke, it is your concept phase to discard and pick up. Okay, um, I have one, two, three, four cards in my hand. We can need to pick up three. Here we go. I just, I, I need. sitting there so okay. stressed as though he's not 16 points in the lead. I mean, yeah, what do you think it's about not that, a Danny? <laughs> I feel I, I'm, I am good. just, I know, I've watched enough of these to know that like things can turn. And uh, so I'm, I'm not, at no point am I feeling comfortable at all. Yeah, you're probably actually one of the more, the more literate in <laughs> having watched so many of these films. And it shows by the way he's beating me so badly. <laughs> oh my uh, <laughs> oh, no. Luke, we told it you was going to happen. happen. It was going to happen. <laughs> it, was, it was the moment that Luke said, you see my charge cable? It's helping keep my phone in place. <laughs> that was the moment I knew we had a problem. <laughs> All right, it probably has enough charge for the rest of it. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> unplug it. It wasn't It wasn't fully keeping it in place. So I think there's still a, there's still a sweet spot here. <laughs> I just watched it again on the live feed, and it's very funny. Um, uh, that's good. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> back to your turn. Whenever we take a break, I'll fix it again. Yeah. I just, I laughed and my foot, it hit the cable. We saw it. The cable was here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good setup dramatically. It You're was, like, you no. place that cable in the screen. You know, something's going to happen. Is it? It's my turn. I just picked up cards. Okay. It's all true. Those are all true things. Um, uh, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna get some we're gonna get some grants going here. Okay. Okay. Let's roll. <clears throat> let's. I feel good about this. Okay. Let's get let's get both factory and the furries up and running here. Hopefully, first we're gonna go for factory theater. Rolling for factory first. Okay, great. I got a four. Nice. Well done. There we go. That means human Jenga is open. <clears throat> Roll in here. And uh, so for, for uh, if a Janai and the furry is dance makers, here and go. And I got a two. There we go. Which We're open. They... We're hanging out. Oh. All right. So we've got um, two shows that are open, which means you're going to go one at a time. <laughs> Saying which of your company or which of your companies and projects is going to compete with which of Danny's companies and projects first, and then depending on the outcome of that, you'll play your second one. So who are you going to lead the first round of this competition with, Luke? I mean, they're both worth six. Um, we're going to lead with uh, with furries here. Okay. Okay. And, and Danny, could you please remind me what you've got? I'd love to, there? yeah. So I've got Borscht VR, which is uh, a two plus a three, so a five. And I've got <laughs> I Am Become Big Daddy, which is uh, a five. So they're both five right now. Both five, yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's go at... And those companies, uh... So Hong Kong Exile has a project limit of one and right. is nothing burned yet. Uh, and then it says EM has a project limit of three and this is its first project. Okay, we're going at, we're going at Hong Kong first. Yeah, sounds right. Okay. Who's coming for me? Um, so it's a six, so Furries is coming for you. Furries and is it's coming a, for me. It's a six to a five right now. That's right. And, um... What's what are the what are the keywords for that project? For the for Borscht VR, experimental yes. and tech. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave it at this for now. Six to five, Danny. Yeah. Five serving six. How are you going to respond? <sighs> oh, five serving six. You are on defense. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little, just a little one. I'm gonna go ahead and play this for you. It's the land acknowledgement. It was a blunder. Uh, you could not accurately pronounce Squamish. So it's a minus four for you. Okay. So you're down to a two. Okay. Two serving five. Luke, how do you respond? Two serving five. Um, real quick, what are the uh, the keywords on the other project? Um, one that critique, I'm not attacking. Critique and tech. Okay. So I have two and you have six. Is that what's happening? That's. Two, I have five. Five. So it's a five. Difference five. Of three. Three little communities. I mean, it'll just mean we get to play longer, really. I'm going to leave it. Okay, which means okay. that uh, three points are coming from Toronto to Vancouver. The current score is 20, 20, 20, 24. Exactly that. Uh, it is still, however, Luke's competition uh, yeah. and production phase. So we are moving on with Human Jenga. Um, the bros are eager to pull out and they are going to compete against Borscht VR or what's the other show, Danny? It's I Am oh, Become no. Big Daddy. Oh, right? they can go against either one or I Am Become Big Daddy. They can go against either one. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go up against Borscht right now. Again. Borscht is again. Borscht. Uh, which means that you have, again, a six, is that correct? And yeah. and Danny, got you've a got a five. So same thing again, six serving five. You're not gonna lead though, Luke? Uh, no. Okay, Danny, how are you gonna respond? <clears throat> five serving six. Just gonna go gentle, you know, just a little oh. jury duty. A little jury duty? Yeah, so... Is that how you got your notepad? <laughs> Do you want me to show off my notepad? <laughs> well, I just was gonna... I just wondered how someone maybe got a notepad Canada from the Council, Council for the, from the Arts. Arts notepad. I don't know. I don't... I... I... I got it in kind. It's in... They don't... I didn't get a grant. I just got in kind stationary support. That's, uh, nice. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, so nice. Jury duty. Uh, you now have arts jury experience. This comes in handy when articulating your current project. That's a plus two. So so that just takes me up to a seven. Just seven against six. Six, six serving seven. Luke, how are you gonna respond? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh with train wreck here. Okay, okay. Um, your performer got their bike tire stuck in the streetcar tracks. They're in the hospital. I hope they're okay. Um, Me too. And you have to hire someone else to stand in. But the show just isn't what it used to be. Target project loses eight. Okay. Brutal, which means it's negative one to, to six. six. Um, That's cool. Seven point difference. Only That's the positive cool. integers are going to count. But Danny, what are you going to do? I'm just gonna, I got a digital strategy fund. Whoa. Oh, damn. So uh, that's plus 10. Which means uh, you're at a nine. Which means I'm gonna facilitate digital literacy and digital intelligence in this country with my VR board show. The project will benefit from your financial security over the next two years. So I think that takes me up to a nine. A nine to an eight. When's enough? appropriate time for me to play it. I could technically play a trap now as well, couldn't yes, I? Yes, you may. You can play a trap on cool. the same turn. Not in our space. Oh, there Rose. it is. Good combo. <clears throat> Good combo. Good combo. There it is. So your artistic director just received some sexual assault allegations, which is minus 10. Which means it is a 9 to a minus 2 situation here for you, Luke. What are you going to do? Uh... Right back at you. Not oh, in no. space. No. <laughs> oh, no! Your artistic director sees sexual assault <laughs> allegations. Uh, this means project. That it really is a like nation nationwide it's epidemic. A problem. <laughs> it's, a it's, a problem. Problem. it's a big problem. It's a big problem. Everywhere. Everyone's pointing. It's like that Spider-Man meme where we're both pointing our fingers at the other person. No, it's everywhere. Spider it was. I have to say, it was a fascinating thing as we've talked to so many, we've talked to hundreds and hundreds of people making this game, and it comes up in absolutely every single region. Like, it is a fascinating, the things that, the, the same shared, sort of the things that are the same in all the regions that we've gone to uh, really do stand out. Uh, but you are both currently in the negatives right now. It is negative one for Danny and negative two for Luke. So if this is the case, then both of these are, shows are going to die. Uh, no points will be exchanged, and communities will, or companies will take a hit against their project limits. But Danny, you're still in this. I got, or are you? No, I got nothing else. That means it's it, and everything I said is now going to happen. So you've both lost your projects. <laughs> Uh, your companies take a hit. If your project, if your companies have exceeded their project limit, that is the end of that company. See you later, uh, Hong Kong Excel. Whoa. Sorry, buddies. And uh, and Luke, it is still your turn. And that's right. Move into strategic planning, Danny. That really so could have been factory. that could have been your time. That would have that was a real oh. opportunity there to switch it around. Yeah. That um. <laughs> The pain is real. It's, this is the tough. This is the tough thing. Okay, the so pain Factory is real. has had two of the, the three projects. It still has one more left in it. 
Um, thank you, Factory Peter, for being here with me through, excuse me, this entire thing. Okay, so um, here I am, <clears throat> here I am, and uh, I am <laughs> going to set a, uh, a trap um, for my strategic Damn. planning phase, and uh, then that's everything I'm going to do that phase, and I'm going to uh, mute myself and eat a cookie while uh, Danny starts her turn. Enjoy your cookie. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm Sending, I'm burning a card. I've got one in my hand, so I'm picking up six. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And six. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I didn't pick up any new companies, but I did pick up a partner, which is the Push Ooh. Festival. Pretty powerful, a bit controversial. A bit controversial. It's gonna go help out Badri Opera. Okay. I which think now takes fast. Yeah. Uh, that takes Battery Opera's rolling or grant power up to a six now. Uh and great. Okay, so I'm gonna roll for Battery Opera first. Okay. Slash push, so I'll need a six. We've got a four. Well Finally roll properly. Says the M I'm gonna roll for, which I need a five for. And I got a two. Well done. Thank you so much. So what this means is I am become Big Daddy is still in development because it's gonna need three grants. Okay. Um, but I am gonna play a project. Battery Opera is gonna make Battery Opera just keeps on seeing other companies do shows and then wants to do them, and it's a theater replacement do. Sex in Tokyo, ironically, which I also did in Factory. So weird. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true life. Um, it's a reflection of which spaces in Toronto people from Vancouver have more of a relationship with. Yeah. Uh, and can do it. That is very true. Uh, an exciting, so Sex in Tokyo is an exciting view into the life and everyday tropes surrounding Japanese culture. This show tells the multi layered story of Tokyo's famous apartments and explodes truths so that's it needs two grants so it's still in development there's okay. no there are no keywords that match up uh so it's at a three right now okay and so nothing's open so we're not in a competition we're moving nothing's into strategic open. planning phase yeah strategic planning so uh so I'm going to play this strategy of intersectionality, just like my sports teams. Uh, so I get four more target communities. Fifth, uh, sixth, seven, eighteen. Yeah. Uh, for those watching, that is reference to the fact that Danny loves all sports teams or many sports teams. Many, many of the sports uh, teams. Together. And I'm just gonna lay this trap right here. Just, it's just gonna chill out. Wicked. It's Luke. ready. And now I'm gonna mute and eat a snack while Luke goes. <laughs> Is that an egg? Uh, all right, Luke, it is up to you. Great, I've unmuted, I ate two cookies. I'm happy to report. Um, get that get that blood sugar up, it's been a long day. I have some water and I have four cards in my hand, which means I'm gonna pick up three. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. One, sing, sing, two, sing, three. I thought I thought Milton left, so that's why I he's still here. He's singing. calling it from uh, the stream. Oh, Milton's okay. Milton's back. All right. Um. Cool, 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 cool. Yo, another theater company is joining the party. What's going on? What's going on? Very happy to welcome Native Earth Performing Arts to the uh, the scene. Um, of course, NEPA doing some great work here in Toronto as one of the leading Indigenous theater companies. Um, it, one of the leading ones in Canada and definitely the leading one, um, if I can say that, in Toronto. Um, I mean, I guess that's just that's my opinion for what I've seen. And, and I got lots of love for Keith, lots of love for Isaac over there. Um, Sometimes I see Isaac talk. Well, not sometimes. In the olden days, before COVID, I would see um, Isaac Thomas around the area because he lives in my hood, and I would see him jogging. I guess you could still jog now. 
I guess I'm not spending enough time outside of my apartment to see <laughs> Isaac jog by. That's what's happening. Um, <clears throat> Native Earth is there. <clears throat> really so happy, so happy to have them on board. Um, and what's going to happen here? Are you rolling for money or you've got something else up your sleeve? I, that is the question I'm asking myself. And uh, I'm, I'm going to roll for money. I'm going to okay. roll for money for all three. <clears throat> Throw some money out here. Uh, all right, so factory theater. Let's go. Okay, got a two. Wicked. There we go. Money for factory. Um, dance makers. What's up? What's up? Need to get at least a four, and I roll a six. All right. Um, Native Earth Performing Arts Dance Maker is going to take this one up. So going back to Nipa here, I need at least a five, and I roll a one. Could have used that last time. Um, that's okay. I'd rather the money go to Nipa right now. Rather the money go to Nipa. Okay, so we got two grants here, uh, which means I can uh, I can get some projects out doing their thing, doing their thing. So. We're gonna we're gonna put uh, oh nice I like this pairing I do like this pairing I've had this before in a, when I was playing against um, I think either I think maybe my sister uh, not that that is relevant information at all for you uh, <laughs> this show uh, factory is gonna get working on uh, Doug Hunt um, a gun a laughing dog and a bunch of Dugs get pulled together in this necessary but troubling violent political satire. Doug Hunt, Doug spelled D-O-U-G. Oh, okay. But instead of this political, factory gets a plus one. Um, so in development, it's uh, it's worth a four there. And I re it's funny, I remember when, um, when the pandemic started and, and Doug Ford was like actively closing things and like sounding like a human being and people were like, what? <laughs> it's it like, confusing. It was so strange. And now it all makes sense again. Um, yeah. As in it's gone like, back to the rhetoric? Like that's the Dougie I know. Well, yeah, he was there talking he about how like, you know, closing things is ruining lives. And just right. when I was, yeah. when I was, when I was, or, but like killing people is actually ruining lives in my opinion. Um, and then when we when we, we crossed the border back into Ontario from this road trip, I saw the big Ontario open for business sign, and I rolled my eyes so far back. It was a good Oops. thing I wasn't driving because I would have got into a car accident. I was in the passenger <laughs> seat at the time. Are masks mandatory over there? In most places. Yeah. Um, see, we like, we're, but we're people not, aren't listening we're not at that to point it. Yeah. Like, oh. Not being enforced at all. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, you've got another pr grant on the table, Luke, in order to keep it. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm scratching my head here, but uh, Nipa is going to do Head Scratcher. Here we go. That's why I was saying scratching my head. It's, the show is called Head Scratcher. Past sentence on scalpers and scalp collectors in this one on one morality play set in the Toronto Self Detention Center. Participatory wow. and trauma. There we Heavy. go. Uh, needs two grants, so it's in development uh, right now, worth a three in development. There's no matching um, topic cards there. So. Great. And possibly, um, an possibly an interesting pairing in terms of. The it is incarceration rates Depen in Canada, and uh, and the kind of um, commentary we can we can spin on that head scratcher. So uh, you, both are in development, which means that we're moving into strategic planning and yeah. skipping production phase. What you got any strategies to uh, anything you want to lay down for the future? No. Nope. Uh, which means Danny. <laughs> it's all about the it's art over, over there. You. All about so the art. So I've got. Any planning. <laughs> <laughs> it's COVID. Like we can't plan for anything anyway. No. Um, I've got three cards in my hand, so I'm gonna pick okay. up four. We're good. Aha. Uh, three. Uh, one more. Okay, there it is. I didn't get any companies. That's fine. 
I did get this instant strategy card that I'm going to play right now. Which is that I got, a, I got a sugar person. person. Uh, so my target company requires one less grant in order to open any project, and that's going to be Teatro Says Yem, which means that I am become Big Daddy at 10 is open. That title, every time you say that title. <laughs> I know, it doesn't get old. Um, and I'm going to roll for Battery Opera slash Push to get another grant. I need a six. I wonder if I'll get it. Got a three, so I did it. So now Sex in Tokyo is also open. Um, so I've got a six and a ten on the table. Uh, and what, what, what do you have, Luke? Will you remind me? What do I have? Me? Yeah, what's going on? You? <clears throat> I have a four. What does Toronto have? Uh, I have a four with Doug Hunt right now in development, and I have a three with Head Scratcher right now in development. Okay. So I think I am become Big Daddy is gonna go to he Head Scratcher. Okay. Ten serving three, is that right? Ten serving three. Okay, Danny, do you want to lead that by adding anything to I am become Big Daddy? No. Okay. Luke, how are you going to respond? You're down by seven. <laughs> just deep breath. <laughs> breathe, man, breathe. I'm, I'm all about the deep breath. I, Danny and I were talking earlier. We're both so competitive <laughs> that it's like <laughs> it's really tense. Like it's I know I'm smiling, really I'm intense. I'm laughing. I'm trying to have a good time, but I am no, terrified. I'm very scared. Um, I had like I'm a ride. To have a nap today. I, you know, you had a nap. I did. I got. Oh, I had I'm a pregame screwed. nap. <laughs> oh fuck. What are you gonna get do? Ready. Okay, seven, Luke, what are you gonna do? Okay, I am going to do thinking. I'm, I'm there's gonna, no shot clock in this I'm gonna game. Gonna do nothing. But... <laughs> I'm gonna do nothing. Okay, which means that seven points are going to uh, take a flight. From Toronto to 2020, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Very good. And... Like, I love you, and I don't want to hurt you, but that felt really good. It's fine. I get it. Sorry, Nipa. I'm sorry, Nipa. All right, so yes, it is 17 uh, to 25, but it's actually still Danny's deduction. It phase. is. You closed I'm Big Daddy, and your new show, uh, that is open. Sex in Tokyo is eager to. Uh, so I'm going to go up against Doug Hunt, which is at a four, I believe. I'm at yeah. a six. six so six. I'm <clears throat> going to go ahead and just add this strategy of professional development. What is it? Which is plus six. I got funding to learn more about the arts economy. Now your producing skills are top notch. So that takes oh. me up to a 12. 12 to four. Four. 12 to 4. And um, what are the buzzwords on yours? <clears throat> Multicultural, on the company or on the show? On the show, please. Multicultural and diaspora. Okay. You don't want to take that out. I mean. Four serving 12. You are on defense, Luke. This music reminds me a bit of the show because the pre-show music for Sex in Tokyo was just a recording of a lot of vibrators very loudly <laughs> in the factory theater for a very long time, which we yeah. had to put up very loud because it's hard to record them and hard to hear them. But, you know, just so you know. That's very funny. Um, I'm going to play my trap. Uh, paper okay. cuts. Oh, you couldn't fold all your programs in time for opening <laughs> night. It looks unprofessional. <laughs> and uh, if you were traditional, you would have lost eight, but you're not. Uh, all other projects losing four, minus four. So it doesn't uh, it doesn't put me on top, but it, it brings me closer. Now we know why you keep a kept asking for the keywords. Now you know why I kept asking for the keywords every time. <laughs> so I was just like, 
Can I hold off until there is a traditional project? Uh, which means that Danny, you are at an eight. Luke is at a four. So eight serving four. How do you want to respond? If, so if I decide, quick question. Yes. If I decide to do nothing and he does something, can I can I respond or no? If, if you, you decide, decide to nothing, do nothing right done. now, it's done. I that goodbye. We're done. We're done. Which means that four more. Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 29. Go to Vancouver. A professional, oh, siren, sorry. And that's, uh, that's it for Factory, too. And that is the end oh, of Factory. Oh, Factory! Theater. It was a good run, though. It was a good run. It was a great run. So Sex in Tokyo is, has gone to bed. Um... Uh, I've got a trap, but I will play a strategy card. What are you gonna Coming play? Coming strong here. I'm gonna play I like who I like. Oh. Which is a fellow artist points out that you only ever hire your friends. The larger community questions this. Minus two target. Twelve. Community. Eleven. See, this is Seriously. why when we were when we were flipped like 20 <laughs> minutes ago, and you're like, don't you feel confident? And I was like, absolutely not. That's called no. foreshadowing. That cable, <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> Everything I'm doing tonight, yeah, but, foreshadowing. <laughs> but Luke, I do not feel confident right now either. <laughs> Knock on wood, I don't want to foreshadow. I mean, what's gonna happen? Nobody knows. Uh, so Luke, you've lost two points. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was there for, for that. that. And, uh, <laughs> Hiring only your Remember? friends. I mean, it's a very contentious. It's a very contentious thing. I think a lot of uh, no. a lot of you know d cronyism. Is that what it is? Cronyism, nepotism. I yeah. guess in so many ways, especially for the smaller independent crowd. Like, can we actually feasibly have public open editions for absolutely everything we do and uh, job calls and things like that? Like, I think That's it's true. a really uh, definitely larger theater companies. I think might should deserve to have a mandate for that but yeah who did that affect i mean affected one of luke's companies so uh that's the end of danny's turn and it luke is. it's back over to you to dig yourself out of this 18 point deficit luke would I a little would, um world series score update make you feel well, better i would i was gonna call for a bathroom break in which you were gonna call for a bathroom break uh well we're, we're halfway through the time it usually takes um, yeah, I feel like we're a long way from the end of this. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> um, no, I've been I've been guzzling this, and my bladder is full, so okay. I need to. It's gotta go be. And... I mean, I want it to be fair. I want it to be able to focus. Yeah, I would love to be able to go have a have an intermission bathroom break here, uh, and then when I get back, I'll also finally crack open this because that's where I'm at in this I competition. If you have a, if you have a chance, Luke, also okay. some of your friends are concerned about how your your dentist appointment went. Uh, <laughs> they're talking about it on, on the Facebook chat. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll talk about that if I get back. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom first and then we can talk about dentists as we right. play the game. Uh, while they do that, Milton and I, uh, we're gonna talk about some technical things and give everyone on the other side of this an insight into uh, the complexities of running this thing. So your computer, Milton, is losing more power than it can charge. Is that correct? That's true. That is correct. Uh, I don't even know if I'm frozen right now, but I'm you are gonna not. go. Oh, now you are. Now I am. Anyway, if if this stops, I don't know if someone else in the house is streaming. I'm connected with Ethernet on my streaming computer, which is fine, but this other computer. In fact, maybe now is a good opportunity to bring up my third computer. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, why don't we just all leave so that people can just watch in empty frames? Because that's funny. I'm going to do that too.
Whose turn is it? It's, uh, it's my turn. Luke's. Yeah, Luke's yeah. starting his turn. Uh, are we back? We are back. We are back. Great, Luke. With okay. a new costume. Yeah. A new, uh, a fresh, a fresh suit. Can fresh. you? Uh, I think it's time for you to pick up and. It is. I have to pick up cards. Decide what to do. Picking up cards as Fred Van Vliet betting on myself. Let's go. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm set now. Um. Remind me what you have down there, uh, Danny. Both of yours, they're closed, right? They're not in development, they're actually closed. They're both closed. Sex in Tokyo, when it's closed, is four, and there's no boosts. And I Am Become Big Daddy, when it's closed, is six, and there's no boosts. Cool. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, get rolling for grants here. We're gonna start with Dance Makers. Three, get a grant. So you can see that I'm not lying to you. Good people. Um, Nipa, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get a one. There it is. I get a grant. Okay. Nipa is this show. They're really excited to, to get into development here. It's um, the Toronto Purchase. A performance unpacking the legacy of the Mississaugas of the Credit 1787 surrendering of the land to the British Crown. Indigenous is a key word. We know NEPA matches up that adds plus one. Uh, so in development, it is a four. Uh, plus one puts us uh, at a five in development. Okay. And then with dance makers. Oh, this is, this is, this is my, my hand, like the way it's been shuffled is very strange to me. And uh, anyways, here comes the bald Sopranos. <laughs> uh, an absurd dinner party in Little Italy takes a turn for the worse when the fire chief shows up with guns and a backstory. Oh, Dance Makers is really diversifying or like, maybe wants to consider their mission. They're doing some strange stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, they actually need one grant, so they are gonna be open okay, at okay. a two. Phone call again. Let's go to phone call again. I have it on, I have it on do not disturb. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a great the... headshot. All right. I, yeah, my buddy oh, Caesar yeah. took it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> How come I still have a phone call and do not desert. That's that's illegal. Did they phone twice? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, actually they did. It was the same person who phoned the first time. Mm. They really uh, want to know how your dental work is. Okay. Which means that uh, the Bald Sopranos is open and it's competing against one of Danny's two closed shows. Now, if you target a closed show, it has the ability to reopen. So- Yeah, uh, you're damn right it does. Which one are you targeting? Is it Sex in Tokyo or is it uh, I Am Become Big Daddy? Um, no takesy backsies, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so I mad about this movie. Aaron, Aaron Jan is watching right now, yelling at his computer screen if he is watching. <laughs> um, uh, I'm Big Daddy. Um, so what, what's what's the lowest one? Give me the lowest one. <laughs> Sex in Tokyo. And that's a... When it's, if, so it's a four right now, and if I roll an odd to open it, it'll be a six. Great, so I'm at a two. <laughs> two cool. Last year. Two of four right now, but you've been targeted, Danny. You can roll to reopen. Roll to reopen? Okay, what do you need to so roll? Odds I need an odd number. Right, let's do it. I rolled a three. So it's open, it's at a six. It's at a six. Luke, you are leading a competition now, two to six. What do you want to do? Um, as I sit here and sip my beer, I am doing nothing. Okay, Danny, which means 
a six serving two. You're up by four. You can uh, add, subtract, call it as it is. I mean... You have a four point difference. I know it's a question of like, do we want to play more or do we just want to call it right now? What do you, you're not oh my like, God. Table talk, table talk. This is a, can this you, is a wait, you can <laughs> finish me right now? It, oh my God. I think it might, I can't take the chance. I'm so sorry. Um, What are you at again? That is a two and you're at a six. I'm oh, at a six. Yo, uh, Danny, I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, just in case, Paradox plus six, okay. which is my project has been panned by the critics but deemed intellectually rich by the arts community. So that takes me up to a 12. Here, here. Which makes it you a 12, he's a two, which means that there is a 10 point difference right now uh, between the two of you. And... Uh, are you deferring over to Luke now? To yeah, yeah, that's the end. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Uh, which means that Luke, it's your turn to respond. You are down by ten points in this competition. <laughs> oh no, Freddy! Uh, do you have anything that I, you can I do? I didn't lie to you. I have nothing. I can't. I can't do anything. I see. I couldn't. I didn't one. know if it was table talk. Okay. Which me down means to one. that you have a one and Third, nine, 30, eight, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, that decision okay. was a terrible decision. <laughs> no. Paradox going away. And it means that uh, that show is closed again, Danny. Second, and yeah. we went back to bed. Uh, that's the end of Dance Makers. Luke, it is your strategic planning phase. Do you have any strategies? I'm, uh... I'm good. Dramatic. I'm so uh, sorry. <laughs> which means that Danny, you are entering into an offensive phase with two shows closed, able to reopen. Uh, okay, so I just burned a card. I'm gonna pick up another five. Okay. Three, four, five. Okay. I got another company. Oh no, Luke, Luke, it's not over. Remember the shot, remember Kwai's shot. Anything's I possible. Kawhi's, I remember Kwai's shot. <laughs> Do you remember when you were they there. were tied? They were tied for that moment, Danny. <laughs> okay, Patrick, look, do my best. I don't to remember. Pep talk. Yeah. Here. Okay. okay, anything's possible. Um, I got the oh, biting school. school. I, I love the biting good. school. Right. They're interdisciplinary, they're visceral and poetic. They need a one. Um, so let's see if I can open anything up. So I need odds to reopen Sex in Tokyo. I rolled a one, so, so that's open. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh gosh. The biting school, I need a one to get a grant for them. I got a four, nothing. And I am become big daddy. I need to roll an odd to reopen that. And I got a two, so it's not open. So I've only got sex in Tokyo going. Um, which is a six, is that am I correct? Which is a six, yeah. And, and you- Luke. Luke's got a four or a five? I'm a five. <laughs> You're a five. This is a head scratcher, am I right? This um, is the Toronto Purchase. This oh, Toronto, the Purchase. Toronto, Toronto Purchase. I'm sorry. Purchase. Toronto Purchase. Toronto Purchase. And if I recall correctly, you've got nothing in your hand. And it doesn't yeah, thank look you. like thank you. Cue you the have... red. Cue the red. Cue the <laughs> red. Cue the red. Damn it. So uh, I'm Danny. going to go six against five. Six against five. Luke, do you have absolutely nothing that you could do I, uh, to respond? I, I have absolutely oh, nothing. Oh, I have no. absolutely nothing that I can do to respond. We just made a joke about how this game was going to last forever and we jinxed it. <laughs> I know, we did. <laughs> At least Milton's computer is going to be okay. <laughs> And that is the I end. Zero that move destroyed me. I'm so <laughs> upset. Oh, I'm so have been upset. reduced to zero. Sorry. Game. Yeah, over. This is gonna haunt me in my dreams. I'm sorry, man. This is literally the first game I've ever won. Congratulations, <laughs> Danny Fecker. I've never on. won this game before. <laughs> 
doing our epic music again. I knew it was done when you had a nap. When you told me you had a nap today. <laughs> I mean. That is so the I, opposite of my day. I'm deep. I know. I'm sorry. I, no, I, it's okay. I, I genuinely feel you bad. You won. No, 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 no. You won. I feel you won. bad. Very Cheers, great. though. Good game. That was a great Cheers. game. Congratulations to both of you. Cheers. Yes. A well, uh, well-spoken, well-competed. Uh, but Danny, uh, it's you. You are the winner of this game and the champion of the third and final oh. Culture Capital Online match that uh, we are hosting uh, this year. Um, uh, in the spirit of many of Canada's most established art prizes, we've asked you to select a protege who will yeah. receive $150 of prize money from this match. Uh, would you be willing to segue us into that part of the show and tell us who it is that you've chosen, why you've chosen them, and then give them a phone call and let them know. Sure. So I, I wonder if she's going to answer. So I've, I, I'll just take my phone down while we do this, hey? Yeah. Um, let me just leave this meeting here up here. Um, so I've named Sophie Brassard. Sophie Broussard as my uh, protege. She doesn't know that. Um, Sophie's been working with me at Fascinator for, we just had our three year anniversary. Um, we both really love using the word meow, uh, but she, <laughs> the, I couldn't do my job without her. She's brilliant. Uh, she's an incredible dancer. Um, she's an incredible choreographer, uh, and that is definitely where, she, where she, I hope that this money goes is towards her craft, but uh, she's also a just fantastic brain um, and an incredible mind, and I'm, I'm blessed that she works with me. So I'm going to call her right now. That's wonderful. Give her a call. Okay, let's see if she answers. I believe she was in the chat on Facebook at some point, so let's oh, see. Damn. Uh, I'm nervous about her answering. Can you hear it? We can. Should I just leave a message if she doesn't answer it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. If I'm a betting man, she's gonna. She's Hello? Gonna <laughs> Luke, I don't think you're gonna win your baseball. Wow. <laughs> but... Hi, Sophie. This is not, it's my, Danny. It's not my night. Do you guys wanna say hi to her? Hi, hey, Sophie. Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Sophie, I just won Culture Capital and I'm naming you my protege, which means you just won some real Canadian arts money. $250, is that right? $250. That's right. Yeah, so, um, you know, call me back if you want, uh, but also you're probably hanging out with your adorable cat, Saskia, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. There uh, we go. That's great. <laughs> Maybe we'll get interrupted. Um, I'll leave that on just in case. Yeah, just Luke, in case. That's the next. That's the you know the, another time that you've made a bet and it hasn't gone your way. Uh, <laughs> I Although know. I feel good about the baseball game. To be fair, I feel good about that bet. <laughs> but <laughs> now that I've said that, that out loud, <laughs> they're gonna lose. It's too well, bad. Um, we segueing towards the end of. I mean, we can we can totally unspin this thing and uh, let it devolve into into us just hanging out and talking about all kinds of things related to- This is the earliest economy. one that's finished. Like this has been the quickest one. It is, it's one. the shortest, it's the shortest one it's been. Um, is it? Yep. It's true. The previous ones were- Outrageous. Two and a half hours, outrageous. <laughs> the longest games that we've ever had actually were the Guys, previous. I feel like I'm really torn, my dramaturgical, like I, it was like, do I let this go on longer and keep being interesting? But my competitive spirit, I couldn't fight it. You have That's the game. It was you have to not a chance I could take. I'm so all sorry. My, all my like instant cards at the bottom of my fucking deck. I'm, it's fine. That's, I wondered, I was like, there was no instance coming out of your deck. Yeah. And really, I mean, I'm glad Danny that you didn't postpone it. I would have called you on it uh, as a kind Good. of reneging because uh, what this is really about is sort of putting performances that have these kinds of shapes into into theatrical or performance spaces. You um, know, sorry. It's important that they can end whenever they need to end. No, they do. It, it's it so, I, so just a little observation. Um, and maybe I just am so used to the, the, the Vancouver deck. 
No, but I just think it's interesting that the Vancouver keywords, I find that other cities have like a, so many more keywords or a, a wider, I feel like they have a wider range of keywords than the Vancouver deck, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, that's not true. It's, it's only that you have a very particular deck of the Vancouver decks, Danny. Oh, so, okay, okay, um, okay. Your deck might be tailored to more specific keywords, but across all four of the starter decks, and I'm glad that now my video is working properly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that uh, yeah, that there are there's quite a widespread. We would say Vancouver and, and BC more largely has more keywords than other places. Because oh, interesting. Okay. The way that companies self-describe often find more heavily define or define themselves more heavily fall upon identitarian lines than a lot of other mm. regions. For example, in Alberta, where you'll have an abundance of companies who identify as dramatic or sort of um, Canadian. Canadian. Like I've no been, one, very I've been few against, people. One of the Alberta decks, eh? I've been training against Alberta. Right. Um, so and Alberta has beaten me every time. Alberta is a good deck. Alberta is a like, good deck. Like, hasn't Alberta <laughs> won every time that they've played? They have. They, they have. did. Yeah. First two. Okay. And what did you learn against Luke? Uh, Alberta. Yeah, it's a tough deck to beat. Yeah. It's all, it's all those damn Canadian money. traditional. It's all the oil money. It's all the oil money. <laughs> Yeah. Um, speaking of money, we should just say right now uh, a little smattering of thank yous overall for this project because uh, we wouldn't have been able to do it without uh, a number of individuals or a number of organizations and institutions. Two of them are the ones who gave us money and the others are people who've given us a little bit of money and also support. And so the first two are the BC Arts Council and the Canada Council for the Arts. Uh, we have been uh, very, very lucky to receive support from Boca de Lupo for the very initial residency of this project in 2018. The Edmonton Arts Council, especially Grace Law, Azimuth Theatre, and the Schnook Series in Edmonton, where we did our first public in-person tournament when people still did that in February of this past year. Uh, High Performance Rodeo in Laurel Green, where we uh, tested some stuff out in Calgary. The Darling Foundry in Montreal, Summer Works in Toronto, who we still have a wonderful ongoing relationship with, and hopefully there's a future for the Toronto version of the game uh, there one day. And uh, a huge, huge uh, thank you to the real sort of institution we couldn't have done tonight without, which is HowlRound. Uh, so thank you, thank you so much to them. And we should say the reason why there have been so many Alberta decks that you know, the players have been practicing against is because uh, through Chinook Series, we were able to do um, the first ever tournament. And it's through those tournaments that we actually print all those cards. And there were 125, right. I think, uh, decks that were printed. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, and so and they were all sold or distributed. You had really the last ones that we had to give away or give out. Um, and so if you do, if you are interested in finding a deck or purchasing one, um, you can certainly add your name to our website of when we can print more in the future. We certainly will, but we need a certain mass of people to do so, uh, which is a little bit hard during COVID times. But again, we are talking to our partners to see if that's possible. Uh, speaking of the future, we currently have no more scheduled matches at the moment, but we did just put in another grant to do uh, some more matches um and and redemption matches and possibly <laughs> redemption matches i kind of like when survivor brings back the people who like almost <laughs> won <laughs> the best we could do best two out of three <laughs> Maybe we'll see how that goes, but uh, we'll certainly let our players know, many of who are in the chat. So thank you again for, for being here. Um, I also oh, want to say, the chat. I know there's been a lot of chat and lots of Where, support for both of why you. Why can't I find it? I'll, it's I'll on find Facebook, it. you'll see it. Um, I just want to say, uh, feel free to contact the Canada Council to share your enthusiasm for the project if you'd like. That's certainly not how the system works, but you know what? What, if you, you know, need their address, it's on this piece of paper right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, uh, we would like to give a moment to our two players for tonight, Luke and Danny, to just uh, plug anything you have going on right now. Let us know what you're doing. You're both fantastic people. So let us know what's up. Uh, uh, Luke, Luke, can we send it to you, you first? Go. Yeah, I just, I have to. Wait, there we go. Sorry, I had to mute. the. I had the two open and I had to mute the other one because I, I was hearing double. I wanted to see the chat. Um, I'm working on a workshop right now of a solo show with Theater Pass Mirai as a part of their Buzz program. Theater Pass Mirai, a company uh, that was not in my deck, not like I would have drawn it if it was. 
and uh, <laughs> we're working this week um, pending uh, uh, tooth things. Um, yeah, wisdom tooth, teeth coming in. I might need to get those taken out soon times. But uh, if, if all goes well with my teeth, then I'll be uh, streaming a, a workshop presentation of this piece called Building Relationships with the World, uh, which is kind of an epic title. And uh, that'll be happening um, Saturday, October 31st, so Halloween, 2 p.m. And if you go on Theater Pass Mariah's website uh, and go to Buzz, you'll be able to click on a picture of me that is red and blue and, uh, and get tickets to watch the, uh, the workshop. So that's, uh, that's the big it's thing true. for me right now. I'm also hosting a poetry showcase for the International Festival of Authors on uh, Friday night. So the night before my workshop presentation. Lots going on this week. And they're all over Zoom or online platforms, is that right? Yeah, 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 all online. Uh, we'll Danny. share those in our chat. Yeah, that's Thank great. You. Thanks, Luke. I can't wait to um, see them. Um, what's going on for me? I, you know, I work with a, a variety of artists, so it's more about what's going on with them. Um, the Chop Theater is doing Pathetic Fallacy at Rumble. They're going to be doing that show, which is an incredible show um, born out of the wonderfully intricate and dedicated and rigorous mind of Anita Richon. Um, it's a show about the weather and it doesn't ever tour with anybody. <laughs> so it's, it happens in front of green screen. It's really beautiful. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be digital stuff. I think there might be, um, but I guess what else is going on for me? I, this hasn't really been, this is the first place this is getting formally announced. Um, I am working alongside Michael Yamamoto and Marcus Youssef to help produce the rally at the Push Festival, which is, um, uh yeah <laughs> the rally is a series of conversations and artist talks and events um acknowledging what happened thinking about how to rebuild for the future and thinking about where we are right now um so there'll be some yeah it'll mainly be happening in january but we're really starting our work with it now um yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I teach. I teach on I get to teach tomorrow night. Melton talk, spoke to my class last week. So I get to teach creative entrepreneurship, which is super fun. Uh, that's what's going on for me. That's great. Thank uh, you, well, thank you to both of you. Um, I think as a sort of final wrap up, we should let everyone know who's still watching this uh, that again, you can follow the culture capital card dot cards project on Instagram, Facebook, uh, and nowhere else, uh, because we don't use other forms of social media at culturecapital.cards. Um, I think this is a good night. And then we'll leave the stream running for another five minutes or so, or Mil one last thank else. you also to April Lung, who has been running our social media, um, and you, being very active in the chat. Thank you to everyone who's turned out Thanks, for all April. the matches, uh, to, to all the people who have wonderfully, uh, shared words of encouragement, uh, worryment and uh, whatever <laughs> other emotions that came up. Yeah, uh, Aaron just said wolf at one point. Yes, I think did. that's when I lost. Just w O O F. Just wolf. wolf. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks, Jan. Uh, these conversations will continue formally, informally, uh, but thank you so much for joining in uh, with it tonight. Uh, and we look forward to doing this all again sometime soon. But other than that, uh, Danny, Luke, thank you so much for being fantastic. Thank you for coming in and playing with us. And on that, we'll be active in the chat for a little bit more. But otherwise, everyone, have a great night, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks for inviting us. Thanks for playing, Luke. Thank you. Thank you. so fun. Good night, everyone. Oh.